Yeah, they just show in the news there. They just show you extreme close up on a few hours of sanitized radar, meaning it's been scrubbed of telltale signs. Here we are, September eighth. Look down in Mexico. It almost it looks like we're stealing water vapor from Mexico and sending it up to Colorado. Then on the tenth, wham and the 11th wham remember it hit them hard overnight and they were flooded out the next morning there watch Mexico you can really see that precip getting taken from Mexico uh, starting about the 9th there we go or the 8th even but all that moisture getting pulled up and sent to Colorado sent right up to the front range Look at Mexico now. There's all the warnings, weather statements for the area. Yep. I agree with you, Weather War. That's the end of his video thank you so much again check out weather war 101's channel for more from them uh, i just want to read you in closing a few sentences from the weather machine by nigel calder 1974 talking about weather modification cloud seeding is undoubtedly the right kind of idea if man is ever to control the climate it is a trigger exploiting the tendency of the atmosphere to produce effects that far outstrip the cause. In this case, by releasing the energy and moisture already latent in the droplets that are overdue for freezing. Once the energy has been released, it can create an updraft that makes the cloud go on growing. Okay? So, starting a cascade of events, small input for a large output. Okay, this book was written in 1974. Uh, the U.S. had already been manipulating hurricanes since the 40s, but an intense program from 62 onward called Project Storm Fury. Uh, talking about Storm Fury, Calder says, If man is to put the world's climate to rights, is this not the place to begin? Okay, 40 years later, here we are. It sure looks like somebody with a lot of power and money and technological advancement is using the weather as a weapon. Now, why would they want to use weather weapons against American citizens? Why would anybody want to flood out Colorado? Well, here's a few reasons. This is my opinion. Number one, Colorado legalized marijuana. Number two... Colorado has legalized industrial hemp, a serious threat to the industrial complex and its fossil fuels and tree paper uh, and the chemical companies and the pharmaceutical companies. Number three, Colorado just successfully recalled gun-grabbing gun senators. And number four, a small Colorado town just legalized drone hunting and are issuing permits. Uh, number five, there is a, an economic incentive to manipulating the weather and causing disasters. Okay, war, weather warfare is just like conventional warfare in the sense that a whole lot of shit gets ruined and it's profitable for the people that own everything. Uh, the banking system issues loans, co collects interest on them. Uh, war is the greatest debt creator. Death and destruction. Uh, the military industrial complex thrives off of death and destruction. That's why the U.S. has been at war uh, for the last century. And weather warfare is bringing it to the home front. Colorado in the crosshairs for being awesome. That's my opinion. Colorado, keep it real. Uh, keep your heads up, and uh, let's hope that people get the message out. Uh, please share this information if you found it useful. Take care. One love. Peace.